Yeah, that's what I call a lot of shrimp. There was literally hundreds in there. It's obviously a good thing. I do like getting a bit of 4K footage, you know. It kind of, I mean, this tank's going to be stripped down and moved to the new house shortly. I just had to get some footage of these guys. Oh, look at these. Look at some of the colours in there are gorgeous. Really do like them. I must admit that this hobby has so many rewards. Look at the shrimp on top of there, look. Yeah. They've got so much beautiful colours, haven't they? Hey? It's got a lot of colour in this tank, and I really do admire the fish hobby when it comes to colouring. You know, people get marine because of the colours, but you really don't need them. Not when you've got ones that are chromium colour. You know? <laughs> it's just amazing, isn't it? And look at the... There's this fella in here. This is my favourite tank at the moment. The, the better tank is beautiful. But, you know... He's in there somewhere. Always hides when you want to come out. I'll get some footage of him in a minute. But, you know, when you look inside and you see all this movement and everything messing about in there, like these guys, look at that one. The guy at the back, the chain loaches, Serbias, the other Corys at the front there, pandas, I believe. You do a good job keeping this tank nice and clean. It's really nice to have. I if you can see him at the back. You see his little nose. Uh, he's always in there. There he comes. Hey, where is he? Come on, where are you, mate? Now that is a good looking fish. Never camera shy. Beautiful looking. Very cool fish. It's a little bit more 4K footage of what we've got going on. A little, that little baby assassin snail there. <laughs> Quite cool. I do like this tank. I think for me, Getting a tank, I mean, if you're getting into the hobby, I still believe getting a tank and your own equipment is paramount. I think everyone should be doing it. Um, that's just me. I think everybody should have a hobby, whether it's cats, dogs, whatever. These, these have a calming sense about them, a bit of freedom. I mean, you look at that. You've got so much life and growth going on in there. Babies constantly been there, life cycles constantly on, on the move. There's lots of, uh, what I found out on a mono shrimp, their glass, I think glass shrimp, bamboo shrimp or something, someone told me. It's quite strange because they all came from the same source. Um, I haven't kept shrimp. Um, I mean, when I first started in the hobby, you get goldfish if you were lucky, you maybe guppies. Um, and everyone knew about the neons. Had a lot of trouble with this tank, um, to be fair. The uh, heater kept going on and off, uh, which was the original Fluval one. Uh, can't complain, I suppose. They do go. Look at the life coming out of that. So, um, I got a new one, just put it in there. He's grumpy, this one, so grumpy. But it's a beautiful fish, so. And that one there, 
got one there, and I believe there's one there. They're actually a, an item. They tend to uh, throw eggs in there. But we'll see. This has all got to be stripped out. There's a... What looks like a cherry shrimp that's gone brown. A strange you got neocardinians and normal cardinians, I believe they're called. But there you go. So that's kind of my 4K footage of my tanks. If I zoom out a little bit, that's, it's just a, such a lovely tank. I am getting another tank. Um, that's purely because I had so many issues um, with the littler tanks. The small, sorry, littler. The smaller tanks, um, because obviously anything that does go wrong goes wrong very quickly, and you can basically destroy your tank setup straight away. You know, the more water volume you've got, the you know everything uh, you know it sort of happens gradually, and therefore you can deal with it a lot easier. Like temperature, for instance, you know if, if both these both these heaters went at once, this tank would probably become rubbish in about two hours with well, this one could probably go a day without really you know depending on your outside temperature obviously um i think it's looking quite good in there though these look really fresh he looks really good cameras really don't do aquariums that much justice so i'm going to invest in something that can help me out i've got an underwater um or gopros and all that but Underwater is okay, but I do like to give you my opinion. There's a panda there, that's him. Panda Gora. Gara. There he goes. Oh, oh, go on, grumpy git. <laughs> yeah. uh, oh well, be stripping these down tomorrow. Get them in a new house. So I'll kind of be off air for about a month, I think. But some 4K footage. Let me, uh, let me just stand up. Oh. Let's open the top of this tank. Get lots of flow, as you can see. From this is a 406. If you've got one, the 306, it is a good update. This is the trouble with glass top tanks, you get a lot of condensation around them. Um, I was going to put the jump guards on them. This is going nice. It's going plants coming up there this one's going as well look see that anyway take care guys enjoy <laughs>